What's up, guys? If you're ready, let's go over what happened in technology this week. With all the recent AI product announcements from ChatGPT to Microsoft, Google, Adobe, and a bunch of others, we haven't heard so much from Apple. The company has been unusually quiet about AI in recent months, and some people are wondering if Apple is missing the AI train. This recent Bloomberg report says apparently Apple has been caught off guard and left flat-footed. Do you believe this? Also in this article, an insider shared with Bloomberg that there's a lot of anxiety about this and it's considered a pretty big miss internally. But don't be fooled, guys. Apple is planning to bring generative AI to all its devices and they're investing a whopping $1 billion a year to do it. The company says you can expect their AI integrations coming soon in Siri, Message App, Apple Music, and even in productivity apps like Pages and Keynote. You know what I say? Better late than never. Well, as demand for NVIDIA's AI chips go off the charts, the race to develop in-house solutions heats up. IBM, they're now making a chip in-house that's not only fast, but also uses way less power. Some researchers are calling its energy efficiency mind-blowing. But IBM is not the only one, guys. Not to be left behind, Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 uh, is also gearing up to bring generative AI to its smartphone. Rumors have it it will debut in Samsung's next Galaxy. Guys, I'm telling you, this is a full-on head-to-head battle between Qualcomm and IBM. And both companies want to unlock AI features in their smartphones. But more importantly, they want to do it in-house. They want to keep that growth in-house. If you ask me, my personal opinion, the future is looking cloud-based GPUs on demand. Now, speaking of NVIDIA's chips, the company's goal to sell their H800 AI chip in China just hit a wall thanks to new export rules. Uh, now, if you recall, previously, U.S. rules had blocked the sale of NVIDIA's H100 chip to China. So NVIDIA introduced the lower spec H800 to get around that rule. Oh, but guess what? New rules are in and now neither of those chips can be sold to China. And ultimately, they're closing that loophole. Uh, by the way, the Department of Commerce is who's in charge of making those rules. And they're saying this decision is crucial in tackling national security threats. Do you think Amazon can get even faster in delivering your orders? Hmm. Well, they just came out and said, yes, we can. And yes, we are. And they're doing it with robots. Guys, robots are coming to slash fulfillment time by 25%. Woo! Uh, we don't know what these robots are going to look like. We don't know how they work. But what we do know is that they will be integrated in Amazon's warehouses at least for now, uh, and they'll be speeding up fetching and sorting by 75%. Uh, now, th the question is, does this technology also mean fewer jobs? Well, only time will tell. But at this rate, my friends, don't be surprised. I'm telling you if uh, very soon those Amazon drones be buzzing <laughs> over your door to drop off those brown boxes. <laughs> now, you guys remember last week I covered R2-D2 uh, Robocop coming to New York City subways, right? Well, check this out. Dubai City Police just revealed these self-driving security patrol cars. They are coming to keep an eye on residential areas, guys. Um, look at this thing. This thing, it's got a drone friend on board, so uh, it can launch it into areas the patrol can't reach. Uh, it, it's also got 360 cameras and facial recognition. Remember, R2-D2, the one in New York, it didn't have facial recognitions, but this one does. Um, but similar to R2-D2, though, it sends information back to the station for 15 hours straight. I don't know, guys. I don't know, this one is a little too creepy for me. I'm out. 
All right, guys, that's all the AI headlines I have for you today. Would love to hear from you. Leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you next week with more news and technology. Thank <laughs> you.